All right, time to get to work on this trunk latch. Now, this is the right hand pull latch. So it pulls towards the driver's side. So obviously the left hand pull will pull the other way. Since I'm using this, I'll explain how this works real fast. The mechanics of this, the square peg from the trunk handle, which is right here, goes through this hole right here, square peg. You grab the trunk handle, you lift up on it, it twists this counterclockwise, which raises this up, which in turn pulls this up. This hinges normally right here. Got the vice grips on there to hold it steady. What I found was, see the slot right there? It was just sliding up and down on here when I turned this. It wasn't actually, it needs to pull it over. So I'm gonna have to weld that solid. Figured this is the easiest way to test it. So I locked it up with the vice grips. Had to bend this, this is normally straight. Threw that in the brake and bent that up. I have no idea what degree it's at. Um, Cause I'm using my angle finder to do the drive shaft angle on the, for the rear, it's under the car right now. But anyway, it's just about perfect. It's offset like this a little bit, you can't really tell. But this is off to the right if you're looking at it. This latch is locked. So, see if I can make this happen. I don't know what you're actually gonna be able to see. So I'll emulate lifting the trunk handle. And boom, you heard it unlock. That's it. Then the spring pressure in here pulls it back down, pulls that back down. You slam the trunk down, it locks it up again. It's locked. Do it again, hold it as still as I possibly can. So there it is. That's the idea behind it. Now, the way I sized it up, might need some tweaking here, not sure. I'll show you exactly what I did. Let's walk around the back of the car real fast. Close quarters in here. I need to get this thing back on the wheel so I can lower it because it's too high right now for me to do some of the stuff I gotta get done. So here's the square peg. Sticking down through there. Obviously it goes inside of there. There's the peg right there. Goes all the way through from the trunk handle, straight down and out the bottom. So I put this square peg, I put the whole latch up here with the square peg where it's at. I lined these holes up, wherever the other hole is, with the screws, I stuck those in there. So it wasn't moving. Got this sitting right about where I wanted it to sit, which is dead center on here. I'm gonna do it right there if I can. And that's where I came up with that angle and all that. So it should work perfect. Plenty of room in there. I'm probably gonna cut an access panel right here and make an oversized plate that I can screw on there. I got some sheet metal screws, some self tappers just to screw on there. But that's the idea. So you move that up and it pops that latch. So as of right now, that's where we're at. I need to, like I said, get in the trunk, get all this crap out of the way, get in there, hold the latch there, lower it down to make sure that it has enough room. I think it will. And I think I'm just gonna have to get a piece of quarter inch angle and raise this up and down until it latches in there perfect. But I gotta get the weather seal on there first so I know exactly where to do it. Because if I make it fit tight without the weather seal, it's not gonna fit with the weather seal. So, there we are. Part one to the latch, that's the mechanics behind it. I'm gonna size it up a couple more times just to make sure. I'll probably throw a tack on here just to hold it in place so I don't have to worry about these vice grips being in the way. I'm going to size it up one more time just to make sure it's in the right spot and I don't have to move anything. 
but since I have the welder out already for the axle, which is a whole nother story, and I'll tell you all about that here another time, the hang up on that. I'm just gonna go ahead and tack tack just to get some, yeah, tack it up, make it work right. It's gonna be filthy because I didn't grind anything. But it's okay. Maybe what I'll do is I'll take my marker and I'll just... No, it wouldn't work because I'm grinding it off. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Anyway, that's where we're at so far. Quick and easy. All right, so here where it's at so far. We got... I got a new phone. I went from a, to an iPhone from an Android and I don't know how the hell to work this thing. But anyway, the latch is in. It's all hooked up. I wish I could get this light on here. Anyway, I'm gonna try and film this because it works freaking perfectly. And that's with zero adjustments. Got the key in, spinning around as you all know on a 49. If you turn it up, latch doesn't do anything. You turn it down, it catches, it does what it's supposed to do. I have it locked right now, right? So I'm gonna see if I can't do this. I don't know how this is gonna be possible. I need to trim this down a little bit right here. The arm, wherever the arm is. And it's not even tight yet. The arm right here is hitting the spring. So I'm going to probably trim it down and re-weld the end up so it's not, uh, so it's not just open, because that won't work. It needs that right there to cap it off but it has to be shortened up it looks like i'll measure it before i do anything but probably close to a half an inch or so but anyway all right let me see if i can make this happen uh <laughs> i don't know i'm gonna do this hang on hang on okay hang on okay it's not gonna work Okay, here's what I'm gonna try and do. That's not gonna work. If I put it there, the thing's not gonna move. I have to hold it. Bear with me. We're gonna be crazy close. All right, so I got the handle now. Boom, like butter. There it is. Anyway, I know it was a crap video just now, but it works. I'm gonna drill these holes right about well, I don't know, somewhere. I can't can't do them there, obviously, because those holes are there, and it'll overlap. Oh, wait a minute. Hang on, let me see. Yeah, nah, won't work. Um, so I don't know, but I'm not gonna drill anything yet until I know it's gonna latch for sure. It's gotta fit down here. The uh, little peg has to fit down there, whatever that's called the other end of the bear claw. So, that's about where we're at. Works, anyway. Let's see if I can get a better video of this. I just don't know where to put the camera. There's nowhere to put the camera. I'll put it here, we'll see what happens. This is terrible. Anyway, so there's that. I'm holding it. It's locked right now. This being here is locked. Pull up on the handle. Oh, now, it's, now I'm binding up. Hang on a sec. I had it, had it too far over. Where I had it, it wouldn't let it, uh, wouldn't let it pull. All right, here we go. All right, where are we at now? Okay, there's the hook. Pull up on the handle. Ow. Perfect. So there we go. That's it. If it'll fit, we're in business. If not, I'll make it work. I'm not worried about it. It'll fit. It's going to fit. So there we have it. Once I get it all in, we'll cap this video off. And then uh, there you go. Bear claw latch in the factory location using the factory handle. Okay, that's exactly where I want to put it. Still has enough room here to give it some support. 
This is really tall, so I don't want it flexing or anything. So let me undo this bar here. All right, now see where it's hitting. Watch this. It's hitting right there. And it rests on it. See what I'm saying? But if I push the trunk in just enough, it goes down and it closes. So that's what we're working on. See, it's just hung up right there. So I'm just gonna shorten it up just a bit and it should clear just fine. Maybe even just one side. I'm gonna try that first and see what happens. So that's where we're at now. Let me go ahead and knock that out real fast and then I will figure out all this here in a sec. There it is, trimmed down. Looks exactly like it did before. I just need to finish these edges a little bit, but um, the hook doesn't hang below here. Even if it did, I'm not too worried about it. This thing's probably so easy to break into, it doesn't matter. So the security is not a huge issue. I'm not gonna lock the doors anyway, so it's whatever. Um, okay, so I just screwed it back on. Let's see how it goes. Come on, baby. Work for me now. Work for me, work for me. Like butter. Let's see if it makes a noise. Perfect, freaking perfect. There we go, done. And I may, honestly, I may just leave it where it is because nobody's ever gonna know. Um, I don't know why this is moving now. I don't remember that ever moving before. If anybody has one of these, I'm looking for one in better shape. <clears throat> so, I may, I don't know if it makes much of a difference to take it off center. There's center right there. So really it's not, oh, this is a horrible. It's like a quarter inch off center. Okay, use that hole right there. Quarter inch, just about. I probably, I might just leave it where it is, honestly. Um, who's gonna notice? If somebody's paying that close of attention, I'll straighten it out, of course. Even it out with that right there, which actually only helped my cause. Um, yeah. So there we go. I might have to straighten this piece back out a little bit. Maybe not. I don't know yet. We shall see. Uh, I'm going to have to drill the hole there to get this thing screwed on there. Yeah, I'm just going to leave it there. It's not far enough off to really drive me nuts. You know what I mean? Okay, so this tab right there is dead center. That's how far off it is. I mean, it's not, you know what I'm saying? It's not really worth all the extra effort to move it over a quarter of an inch and figure out all these holes. So I'm gonna use the existing hole there. I'm going to trim this up to cover this up right here. So I have to cut that right there. So that's gonna be in those two holes. And that's it, drill a new hole there. And we're in freaking business. So let me go get my punch. I'll punch it, I'll drill it, it's on. All right, that hole is drilled. These screws are the same size and thread as those screws, just by chance. I just picked these out that fit this hole. And by chance, they're the same. So I'm gonna use these screws on this, which I think is pretty cool. I mean, it'll add a little something to it anyway. Not a huge deal, but uh, I mean, I could go pick up two more of these and put them up here to hold those on. I don't know. That doesn't matter. I'm not worried about that right now. Right now, I have to cut out that right there. So this thing has room to move. So that's what I'm about to do right now. All right, so here's what I had to do. I had to chop this thing up even more. Hit it right there with the flap disc. I had to cut this off. I'm still going to sm smooth that out a little bit with a file. Um, to be able to get my finger in there because I couldn't bottom mount it on here. 
it was binding up on there. I shortened it too much. See, I cut it and welded it right there. I shortened it too much. Um, what happened is where I had it mounted, I didn't test fit it to make the bend right. So I shortened it. And once I did that, I tried to adjust the bend in it and it was binding up and it wasn't doing its thing. So I opened this up a little bit more. I'm going to fix all this, make that look a lot better than it does. Um, I think what I might do honestly is I'll probably weld that up and then cut this down to fit. Well, that's not going to work. I was going to say cut that down to fit right around it. But with this hole being out of whack, it's not going to work. So I'll just fix it. I'll make it look right. Um, I have to file this out. I just did all this. It's like one o'clock in the morning right now. I just did all this. I need to go to bed. I work all day tomorrow. Anyway, I'll pull this out and I'll show you what I had to do. It took a lot more modification than I initially thought, but it's done. Let's see if you can see up in there. There's the thing. I don't have the nut on there. There's the nut right there because I'm still got to pull this out and paint all that and all. I got to paint this thing up a little bit because I ground away. I'm sure it was, uh, uh, what's it called? Galvanized. Ground all that off probably. But anyway, so it's there. Pull up on it. Boom. Done. Where is it? Pull up on the handle. Pow. Beautiful. Now, if I ever... The pin's barely moving. That's the only hang-up I have. It's the only thing I don't like. Watch the pin. See, I have all that play right there. That's the handle moving. You can see that seam moving before it catches the pin, which is weird to me. But maybe that's how it's supposed to be. But then... See, it barely moves. Like, you can't even notice it move. That's how sensitive it is. But let me go ahead and pull this all out. I just wanted to make sure it all fit, it all worked, so it's good to go. This plate will be cut wherever, right there, to cover up all this, so you won't see any of that. You'll just see this sticking out. <clears throat> this, I fit up, is going to be pretty much like that, right there. I'm going to get a piece of quarter inch because it's not going to mount down here. It's going to be mounted like up here, like up here at the top. I'm going to get a piece of quarter inch angle. Ace has them pre-bent, ready to go. I'll cut it down, drill it, make it work. I'm going to redo the whole trunk floor. I was going to mount the factory tank like a Mustang tank using that edge, using that middle lip. But I think I'm just going to Bring the whole thing up to here. Y'all know. Y'all with a Ford know how it is. It's probably, a, I don't know, good three to four inch drop there. But I'm going to raise the whole thing up and probably flatten it out there and have it come back and just drop off whatever. I'll figure that out. But let me go ahead and pull this out, show you what I had to modify, show you what I had to do. But it works. So here's what I had to do to make everything work. And had I thought about it, I could have made my life a whole lot easier by leaving this straight and just hooking a cable up between the two, between this arm and over this, because this arm would have been well over on this side over here. I could have just hooked the cable up and called it a day. Didn't even think about it until now, or last night when I was going to bed. But anyway, first thing I did was file this square peg right here down to make it come in and out a little easier. I don't know if it got smashed in a little bit or what. It looks a little beat up, like it's been installed and taken out a zillion times. Anyway, got this arm welded up in the position it needs to be, all the way around. Got this thing cut and shortened to where it needs to be. Of course, I had to change my plans a little bit and mount this on the inside, which I actually like better. It looks better, but it's uh, in the butt to get to. 
the spring, the arm was rubbing on the spring, like right down here. You can see where it wore the rust off of it. It was rubbing on it. So I figured that was just a matter of time before something wore through and I couldn't get in the trunk. So I took two of the biggest cotter pins I have, ran them through there, strapped them up and hooked the spring up over here. Now I got plenty of clearance, it's off to the side. Um, I had to shorten the bottoms right here. Had to shorten both of those to clear that, to clear the lip. I also had to open the lip up some. <clears throat> Didn't affect the rigidity of it or anything. I had, it was mounted crooked a little bit and I didn't realize it, not that extreme obviously. It was like a 16th of an inch, but it was enough that I could see it when I looked at it with the garage open, which is, I haven't done it, so I didn't know. Um, so I had to open this up a little bit more. I'm gonna, I need to get a good file so I can file all this and make all this straight. That's my plan of action now, but I don't wanna cut too much material off. I'm thinking I'll clean all this rust up. I might just hit that with some weld and then grind it down, make it look right. Um, but I still need a file either way to make a straight line. What else did I have to do? But anyway, before I realized it was crooked and I was wondering why this was the case, I just didn't know. I shortened, see how tall that is right there by my palm. Little chair looking part right here. I shortened this side up to make it sit level because it was sitting obviously being shorter it was sitting like that not that extreme of course but so I had to file that down and brought it out but then I realized I was sitting crooked so I opened this up I had to try and use a drill bit to open that hole up which worked out perfect with the amount of play I have in this hole here so now it all fits well everything is good the spring was, besides fitting it in where it has to go, the spring was kind of the biggest hang up. I tried to find every single screw I had. I tried to drill the holes bigger. These holes wouldn't drill. I don't know what the hell it's made out of because it grinds off like it's made of butter. Um, left this screw a little loose so it has some room to, some play in it, which is why I decided I should have used a cable instead. Well, it's too late now, it doesn't matter. Got a lock washer on there. So I need to hit this with some paint. I need to hit this with some paint. And that's all she wrote. I guess I'm gonna break out the welder and try and burn this in real fast. Try and fill that little notch right there from the cutoff wheel. I was using this little thing to open it up. And just kind of taking a little bit off at a time. But if you go it too deep at all, yep, there it is. That's how that happened. Right there. And that's why this is curved. I, don't, I want to try and even it out, but I don't want to try and even it out. Because I don't want to hit this side. That's why this side's all chewed up from nicking it. Just a little bit at a time. So I'm going to file it. I'm going to get a new file at Harbor Freight today. They have a 25% coupon going on. So I was going to buy a Warren Winch for the Jeep. But for 25% off, that's like 150 bucks off their winch. So I may pick that up, but I haven't decided yet. But whatever. So I got to clean this up and get it painted. And yeah, clean that up, get it painted. I got to get the quarter inch angle to get this mounted. But that's pretty straightforward. So I'm not even going to show that. You saw the latch working. That's pretty much the main idea of the video. That's just mounting this wherever it's going to fit. You know what I mean? However far in or out. I'm hoping it's like that because I got these wires down here that I would prefer to, they were here, and I'd rather not have them uh, exposed unless I can have this like this. That'd be kind of sweet. But either way, I want the wires protected since they're brand new and all. So I got to throw the weather stripping on there, set the height on that. I'm going to make it adjustable, as adjustable as I can. Then uh, go from there. I need to notch bad. I need to raise that drive shaft tunnel bad, at least behind the back seat. I haven't figured out about the rest of it yet, but while I'm in there, I'll probably take care of all that. So there we are. That's what we have so far.
We'll be back when it's all finished.